has been one of my favorite for a long time for drums of course either in parallel or direct but also bass and vocals let's take a look at soft tube dynamite <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to Mix Plus TV, hope you're having a great day. Before we start, check the info box down below for my mixing courses on ProMix Academy, and special discounts and offers on plugins, also links to Softube Dynamite, which is what we are taking a look at today. If the videos are helping you, you want to support the channel, but most important, access to exclusive content like members only posts, pictures, live chats, and now even members only live stream, but also mix consultations with me via Skype or email. Click the join button down here, see all the perks of becoming a Mixpress TV member. Let's go with the video. The soft tube dynamite is modeled after the old vintage Valley People Dynamite, one of the most unique sounding dynamic processor. It's not just a compressor, it's a very aggressive compressor, it's a great gate. It's an unmistakable sound on drums, but it's also great on vocals and bass, like I said before. And now it comes with three different modules, the one-to-one -one reproduction of the old Valley People Dynamite and two more modules, a dedicated gate module because this plugin is also a great gate and a drum smasher module, which is basically what most people use this plugin or the old unit for. Let's take a look at the front panel. This is the main plugin, the one-to-one -one reproduction of the old vintage unit. We have on the left two knobs, threshold and release self-explanatory. Then we have the detector section with three modes, internal, basically works like any other compressor, it reacts to whatever you feed into it, and then DSFM, basically it reacts to the high frequency range. It can be a great deesser or for vocals, or if you have a drums with a too high of a hi-hat or cymbals, it can react to the high frequency only. And then external, of course, if you want to trigger the compressor with an external source on Pro Tools, uses the key input here. On the right side, we have the range knob. It limits either the amount of compression or gating, depending on the mode, and then the output level. Here, these controls here are where people get confused with this one. That's why I said it's a quirky dynamic processor. We have the mode, which can be limit, out, and expansion. And then the detection can be gate, peak, or average. So when it's out, it's in bypass. That's easy. When it's in limit mode and average detection, it works like a normal compressor. It has a fairly slow attack, uh, slow enough to give you a good snap on a drum. Let's hear that first, with and without. So from the get-go, you understand why it's called dynamite. This is not a subtle dynamic processor. As soon as you turn the threshold, immediately adds aggression and snap to drums, but to any material really. Uh, one thing to notice is auto level compensated. So it, as soon as you turn the threshold uh, down, it will automatically compensate for the output. So the volume, it goes up. But one very, very cool thing, and this is one of the reasons because I really love this plugin, uh, you can see that even if I leave the output at zero, this clip light light up and you're not going to clip your channel. Basically, it has a soft clipper built into it. It works amazing for drums. Uh, take a look at the Pro Tools meter. So it has this soft clipper at the output stage that sounds absolutely great on drums. This was average mode, so it lets some of the trends in pass and you get that very aggressive snap. But if you put it in peak mode, the attack is basically instantaneously and you will hear it just flatten the drums. But it does it in a very musical way and this is usually how I use it on parallel channels. But for now I'm gonna let you hear it here direct.
you can hear it flattens the, the transient, but it does it in a very musical way. It distorts and it's saturated in a very musical way. It's almost like the drum was recorded from far away in a bigger room. And again, it works very, very well in parallel. Let's try to exaggerate this. It sounds absolutely massive. Now, let me actually try it and, and show you how it works in parallel. It adds so much dimension to the drum, it's pretty crazy. And you can also use it in average mode uh, if you want more snap from your parallel channel. This is a little lesson on parallel drums if you want. You hear how much more focused is the kick and snare and this uh, is a very roomy kit to begin with. I'm using Superior Drummer for this. There's a reason because I picked a roomy kit because we're gonna use that one for uh, showcase the gate function on this. So absolutely great plugin for drums. Let's try on another module. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna use Perfect Drum, just some of the few that I have here. And again, we are gonna use the main plugin. Okay, in this case, you can see I'm using the DS function, meaning the compressor is reacting to the high frequencies, okay? Let's switch to internal. even on a fairly dry kit like this one. The name Dynamite, it's so appropriate for this, it's not even funny. We were in limit mode so far, now we're going in gate mode. When you're in this mode, this becomes an expander gate and again, a very quirky sounding one. Especially if you select gate and limit mode. It works as a normal gate, expander gate, if you select expander and gate. So, without. Okay, I'm exaggerating the settings here, but if you have a real drum, especially single channels for a real drum, this is an amazing, amazing gate and it's super simple to set up. The other kit. You can actually isolate kick and snare. Now, this is a loop, this is a full kit, there's cymbals in it. But again, for real drums, if you have uh, bleeds in it, this is an amazing, amazing uh, gate. It does something very strange. I don't know any other plugin that does this, but I can assure you it has uses, many uses in mixing for a lot of different instruments. When you wanna take out the front of the transient and leave the tail, it works amazing for a snare if you want to saturate them, if it works amazing, again, for any transient material that you want to send to a reverb, but you don't want the big spike to go into the reverb.
Okay, so it removes the trends and the hard hit and it leaves the tail. I can assure you it has so many uses in mixing, you need to experiment with it. Just to show you the module, let's open the dedicated dynamite gate. With this one, you basically have the same processor, the same algorithm, uh, the same behavior, but you have more control. You can see gate fast, expansion slow, and HF boost. So let's try to play with that. Okay, you can really isolate things and if you have a loop like a hip hop loop, something like that, you can probably chop off just kick and snare very easily with this. Uh, in expansion mode, it, it's a little more gentle but still very efficient. Okay, to suppress a hi-hat bleed into a snare track, that works amazing. Now, the other module that comes with the plugin with the new version is the Dynamite Slam, which is basically a dedicated drum smasher module and it's so fun. Again, we have the same control here on the main unit, but we have, because it's so common, a dry wet knob right here. So if that's what you're going for, this is the module you wanna use. And again, the clipping, it sounds so, so cool. Softube, I said this before, does saturation very well. This was a slow attack version of it. Now with the fast attack, which is just smashes the drum. absolutely cool and I'm very glad that they did the slam module with the dry wet knob on it because you know you can avoid to create an aux track and do the parallel routing into your DAW. We were saying on bass so let's open it up and this is a quite dynamic bass as you can see. Pay attention to these three, two notes here where the dynamic goes down, how the dynamite keeps them up. All right, and uh, again, it's one of those actions that you can hear, but it's, it's very pleasant. And again, I can hear a little bit of grit and you, you can drive the output uh, um, using the clipping stage, it's totally cool on bass. But another application in which I really like this plugin is vocals, so let's try to find one. And this is a kind of a compressor that works amazing on rock, aggressive vocals, hip hop, trap vocals, stuff like that. But it can totally work, like in this example, on a soft female vocal very well. None of it matters, and when it all begins, there's nothing left here for you and I with none of it matters and when it all begins there's nothing left here for you and I you can hear especially in this bit here how 
it keeps that high level peak pinned down it's there's nothing it's there's nothing it sits the vocal way back and again this is an effect it won't go well on every vocal but when you have it especially if you have a a vocal that is maybe too dry or no matter how you EQ it, it seems on top of a beat or on top of the song. This is a kind of a, a kind of a compressor that can help you making the vocal sit a little back, like it was recorded with like heavy carpets around. That's the feeling that I get. None of it matters and when it all begins, there's nothing. You can hear if you set the release in a certain way, you can hear the pumping effect of it. Um, which is totally cool on some material. So uh, totally love it on vocals. I've been using it for a long time. Anyway, this is it for this video. This was Soft Tube Dynamite, one of my longtime favorite. I just wanted to do a video on it because it just came out with this three module version where you have the smasher, the gate, and the main plugin. I hope the video was useful. I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. Link to the Dynamite is gonna be in the info box down below. If you have any question, leave it in the comment. Actually, leave your questions for the rapid fire Q&A in the comment because we are doing another round. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time.